everyone this is akash nikshan today i am here with you all to share a few words about a management concept called management is science first of all we should have to see about science what is science science is a sympathetic body of knowledge pertaining to a specific field of study that contains general facts which explains the phenomenon between two or more variables and underlines the principles governing their relationship these principles are developed through scientific method of observation and verification through testing management and science is characterized by following main feature the first one is universally acceptance principles scientific principles represents basic truth about a particular field of inquiry these principles may be applied in all situations at all time and at all place example law of gravitation which can be applied in all countries irrespective of the time management also contains some fundamental principles which can be applied universally like the principles of unity of command that is one man one boss this principle is applicable to all type of organization business or non business the second one is experimentation and observation scientific principles are derived through scientific investigation and research that is they are based on logic example the principle that earth goes round the sun has been scientifically proved management principles are also based on scientific inquiry and observation and not only on the opinion of henry foyle they have been developed through experiments and practical experiences of number of managers example it is observed that fair remuneration to personal helps in creating a satisfied workforce the third one is cause and effect relationship principles of science lay down cause and effect relationship between various variables example when metals are heated they are expanded the cause is heating and result is expansion the same is true for management therefore it also establishes cause and effect relationship example lack of balance between authority and responsibility will lead to ineffectiveness if you know the cause that is lack of balance the effect can be ascertained easily that is ineffectiveness similarly if workers are given bonuses fair wages they will work hard but when not treated in fair and just manner reduces productivity in organization and the fourth one is test of validity and predictability validity of scientific principles can be tested at any time or any number of times that is they stand the test of time each time these tests will give same result moreover future events can be predicted with reasonable accuracy by using scientific principles example h2 and o2 will always give h2 principles of management can also be tested for validity example principles of unity of command can be tested by comparing two persons one having single boss and one having two bosses the performance of first person will be better than second it cannot be de- denied that management has a systematic body of knowledge but it is not as exact as that of other physical sciences like biology physics and chemistry etc the main reason for the inexactness of science of management is that it deals with human beings and it is very difficult to predict their behavior accurately since it is a social process therefore it falls in the area of social sciences it is a flex- flexible science and that is why its theories and principles may produce different results at different times and therefore it is a behavior science ernest dale has called it as a soft science we all know that there is a study called management science what is management science management science or managerial science is a wide and interdisciplinary study of solving 
complex problems and making strategies decision as it pertains to institution corporation government and other type of organizational entities it is closely related to management economics business engineering management consulting and other fields it uses various scientific research based principles strategies and analytical methods including mathematical modeling statistics and numerical algorithms and aims to improve an organization's ability to enact rational and accurate management decision by arriving at optimal or near optimal solution to complex decision problems management science looks to help business achieve goals using a number of scientific methods the field was initially an outgrowth of applied mathematics where early challenges were problems relating to the optimization of systems which could be modeled linearly that is determining the maximum value of profit assembly line performance crop yield bandwidth etc or minimum loss minimum of loss risk cost etc of some objective functions today management science encompasses any organizational activity for which a problem is structured in mathematical form to generate managerial relevant insights applications of management science are abundant in industries such as airlines manufacturing companies service organization military branches and in government management science has contributed insights and solutions to a vast range of problems and issues including scheduling airlines both planes and crew deciding the appropriate place to site new facilities such as a warehouse or a factory managing the flow of water from reservoirs identifying possible future development paths for the parts of telecommunication industry establishing the information needs of health services and appropriate systems to supply them identifying and understanding the strategies adopted by companies for their information system management system management science is also concerned with so called soft operational analysis which concerns methods for strategic planning strategic decision support and problem structuring method at this level of abstraction mathematical modeling and stimulation will not suffice therefore since the late 20th century new non quantified modeling methods have been developed including morphological analysis and various forms of influence diagrams the given information proves that the management is also a science i thank our director dr n sundra pandian sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you all